What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jay The Way here back again with another YouTube video. Your boy is finally graduating with a degree in chemical engineering, and I can't wait to start the new job that's coming up. And it's crazy because I'm gonna be moving away from Baton Rouge, like I mentioned in my other videos, but it's the reality of life. I'm so excited to finally finish this curriculum because it was absolutely brutal. And what I've learned from this curriculum is that chemical engineering curriculum is more resiliency than actually being smart, if we're being honest. I've met some of the most brilliantly smart people I've ever met in my life here. And there's one thing in common, whether if you were a high performing student or a low performing student, everybody struggled in this curriculum. There was a lot of work to do, a lot of projects, a lot of teamwork and collaboration. But through it all, I learned so much. Guys, I remember when I took my first real chemical engineering test in Dr. Melvin's class in Chemi 2171, which is your fundamental material and energy balances class. And I remember that first exam, I got it back, it was a 65. And it humbled me because this curriculum really taught me that in order to really get at it and learn engineering, this stuff is serious. It ain't like high school where you could just barely study for some of your tests and most of your grade is just dependent on your homework. This was different. Most of these classes, especially as we got harder and harder, we had to put in hours for these tests and we had to study much earlier than the actual exam day because if you studied for these tests just a few nights before the actual exam, you would have been absolutely screwed because there's no way you can learn all of that in just a few nights. Like I mentioned earlier, this whole degree was about resiliency and I feel like as I've gotten into the higher level classes, especially in your harder classes like fluids, heat and mass transfer, unit ops, controls, it felt like every lecture that I went to, I did not understand what was said in lecture in one run. Because after every class, I was confused. And this is what I was talking about when you have to study outside of your regular class time because there's no way you can understand these concepts in just one go and especially unit ops and other classes, some of these homeworks, we spent nights and nights and hours grinding for it because some of these homeworks took forever to solve. And aside from that, you had other classes that you had to deal with too. And sometimes we had back to back to back exams, exams the next day or the same day. And all these exams are really difficult. And that was the biggest challenge of this is also time management. What made this curriculum so hard was you're juggling so many multiple classes. And that's what I've learned is about managing my time. Guys, consistency is key. You want to be consistently studying and you don't want to cram all this information in your head like the night before because you're not going to learn it well. And what this chemi curriculum has taught me a lot about how to have a strong work ethic. And you know, my, as I've mentioned before, my favorite athlete ever is Kobe Bryant. And when I was in high school, I was all about that work ethic and just talking about it. But when I actually got into college and into this curriculum, it really made me understand what it's like to have a work ethic and what it takes to do well. Guys, when you go through college or you do a difficult degree like this, you're gonna go through a lot of ups and downs. And some of my semesters that I've had were the best semesters ever in terms of how much I've progressed or learned or in terms of performing or getting the grades that I wanted or just simply having fun. One semester in particular for me was fall 2019 and I made a video about this, my worst situation in college as a chemical engineer at LSU. I will put it in the link in the description and you can watch the video here. But in this curriculum, you gotta stay humble because the semester I had before that worst semester was the best semester ever. Everything was going well. I was acing all of my hard tests and I was taking piano classes at the same time and balling out at the UREC. Meanwhile, the next semester came, I took five of the hardest classes that I've ever taken. And meanwhile, I'm also on the job hunt. And that semester, I didn't get any offers because I was acting like an entitled little bitch after I got off my Exxon internship thinking that I'd be able to get anything. But it shows you that you gotta be humble because with that attitude with me going into my interviews, I got my ass kicked and realized that companies didn't want me because I was acting entitled. Guys, that's another thing that this curriculum has taught me too is throughout my co-op experiences, internship experiences, is much more than just 
learning theory and doing math in class. Because when you go into the workplace, that's where I got real work experience. And as LeBron once said that experience is the best teacher in life, and I can completely agree. Because I feel like when I actually got into the workplace and my co-ops or doing my internships, I really felt like I started understanding processes in the plant a lot better. And when I took a lab class in unit ops lab taking controls, so you have the controls class, and then I was actually involved in an experiment regarding process controls. And I felt like actually doing process controls myself helped me understand controls. Because to be quite honest, after I got out of the actual controls class, I felt like I was just memorizing a bunch of equations and math. And when I got out of it, I really didn't understand controls. And this just serves to show you in my experience that just because you got a good grade in a class doesn't mean you actually understand the material. You actually got to go out there and be able to perform in, in the actual workplace. And this is kind of like how I talk about with me in basketball is that I could go and practice basketball all I want. And I could watch basketball videos all I want, but if I'm not performing in the game, it don't matter at the end of the day. Guys, work experience has not just taught me how to understand processes better, but I felt like I've gained a lot of communication skills and I've gained a lot of teamwork skills. And before I started my co-ops and internships, I was very naive and I just thought, oh, communication is nothing. You just say your words. And I thought that teamwork was nothing that because I thought that everybody thought like me. But when you go out in the real world, that's not the case. And I realized that everybody thinks differently and you have to be able to understand people very well. Speaking of working in teams, if you ever get into engineering major, you have to work with other people in teams. And this could be troubling sometimes or it could be the best thing ever. Because if you end up with people who don't wanna put the work in, it sucks. In some of these classes, you can't pick the teammates that you want and you stuck with random people. And I'm very lucky because I've never had really like bad teammates throughout my time in college. And like I've said before, a lot of people here know me and I've been able to make a lot of friends here. And that's why in the classes where I'm able to select my partners, I was able to have very good teammates that would put the work in and that would lift you up when you're down because not everybody is always gonna be having a good day. I heard some horror stories with some of my friends who had crappy teammates where they would do no work at all. And in senior design, I've had some people that literally had to do the entire project by themselves because the other people weren't willing to put the work in, which is kind of fucked up because they're benefiting off of the hard work someone else is doing. So guys, if you ever get into engineering or whenever you get into college, make sure that you make a lot of friends here and you network well because you never know when you're gonna end up with sucky partners and it's gonna suck if you're gonna try to do all these projects by yourself or when you're not getting any help. Because I'll tell you, when I've been able to have my own good partners, when I didn't understand something, and when I had other difficult classes and other exams to study for, your other teammates can pick up the slack for you and you can do the same back to them. Guys, I also gotta tell you, depending on what your goal is, if you wanna get a job and you wanna work starting right after you get out of college, which is what I'm doing, the best advice I can give to you is focus on your interviews and show companies interest. Actually study the company's website, be friendly, be cordial, be willing to communicate and work with people. If you have experience on your resume, this will be 10 times easier getting a job for you than it is having a high GPA and no social skills or no experience on your resume. A lot of companies now are moving towards being able to be amiable and sociable at the workplace and they wanna see that you have a life outside of school. If you just have a 4.0 GPA but you're an uninteresting person and you got no other experience, it might be hard for you to find a job. And I know a lot of people here who have very high GPAs but no experience and they can't find a job at all. Like I said, experience is the greatest teacher in life and I highly recommend going after internships or getting these job offers because at the end of the day, when you look back at it, these grades don't matter. I thought sometimes when I didn't perform well on an exam or I didn't get the grade that I wanted, at the moment when I was younger, I thought it would be the end of the world. And looking back at it, I could care less now. I got a job lined up 
my GPA might not be a 4.0, but it's still really high. And most importantly, I have experience on my resume, which will allow me to find more jobs in the future. Guys, I could talk about this curriculum forever. I could talk about certain classes that I took, the ones that I liked, the ones that I didn't like. There are some that I really didn't like and some classes I thoroughly enjoyed. And if you're gonna be in this curriculum, there are gonna be some professors that are gonna suck and some professors that are great. But some professors are not as intimidating as they look and if you form great relationships with them and you go to their office hours and talk to them, you'll be able to get along in these classes a lot easier. Guys, some professors won't budge your grade. Some of them will be hard asses when it comes to giving you curves. Some will be more lenient towards you and more understanding. Whatever it is, you just gotta grind it out because as you get to these higher level classes, you can't really pick the professor that you want. So. It's important to have a good work ethic and not complain because at the end of the day, you're gonna get through this curriculum. And if you do what I said, as long as you work hard, you improve your social skills and you try to find job opportunities or internships, you will be able to get your job at the end of the day and you'll be able to start working from then on. And when you look back at it, college is just gonna be a memory. Those sucky times that you spent studying all night for tests or dealing with bad partners, it's just gonna be a memory at that point. And quite frankly, this chemical engineering curriculum flew by like crazy. My four years in college and my internships and co-ops flew like absolutely insanely quickly and it flew by like lightning. When a semester started, I thought that I was gonna have to deal with crappy classes for a long time, but in the blink of an eye, the semester was already over and we we're on to the next break. So guys, if you're already an engineering major, I advise you to just stick with it because it's gonna be worth it in the end. And like I can, I'm sitting here about to graduate and I could tell you that it flew by lightning. And if you stick with it towards the end, as long as you put the work in, it's gonna be worth it in the end, whatever you wish to do. That ends this for this video. I could talk about this curriculum as much as I want. If y'all have questions about it, you can leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Uh, I don't have notifications on for comments, but I'll check it whenever I can. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Jay the way out.